What's going on, family? Yeah. Here to drop some more knowledge to you about something that people are not even aware of. Leonardo da Vinci having to be a prophet painter. I call him a prophet painter because this amazing man drops science and knowledge and futuristic. This is his last painting. The John the Baptist painting. That's coded. Now remember, Leonardo da Vinci is a high level mason of the highest order. And he dropping hidden signs that I'm going to lighten you to certain aspects of what he had before us right now. When you look at this painting, the whole symbolism and the signs but what you don't see is plain and clear that Leonardo da Vinci has what looks like a fur coat going around him but the St. John character but what in essence what you see is which really is the mouth of a serpent you see from this point right here traveling all the way up he's coming out the mouth of a snake in a circle you see you see it now and as if this would be an eye right there and what's so powerful about it is hidden in plain sight that look like a mouth of a serpent See, when you're dealing with high-level people of this here type of caliber, they speak in three, four different type of meanings. Because not only is the mouth of the serpent that's talking about one that will come, but he also formed an L. You see? Look at yourself in the mirror. With your arm and in your hand, make that same gesture with your right arm in your hand and you will form you will form an L why did he form an L and a L one now remember Leonardo da Vinci also painted the last supper which is cold and I'll break that down soon but when you understand that Leonardo da Vinci created this painting in double meaning you see this part is of a female look at her eyelashes double meaning right and then on this side is a man eyes slit like smirking double meaning and on the right side that is the female is two lines directing to her because it's directing to a certain place in the space and notice Leonardo da Vinci they say that he's in this painting a John the Baptist and I remember the gospel say that John the Baptist from what Jesus standpoint said that whether you know it or not John the Baptist is he who is to come that John the Baptist is Elijah, excuse me, Elijah who is to come. So he's speaking about futuristic dialogue, futuristic information because Leonardo da Vinci is a master on many levels. He's pointed to what's supposed to be his right, they say his heart. But when you put your hand on your heart, your heart is on your left side. Here, not the right side. Place yourself in the painting. This would be on the right side. You know how you pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America? With your right hand being on your left chest. Over your heart. Zoom in. Leonardo da Vinci just painted a phallus. Turn it upside down. This is a phallus entering into 
a vagina. A phallus enter into a vagina. Right here. And when you turn it upside down, you'll also see inside of that a entity. A demonic being, if you will. Right here. Right there. The horns right there. You have to turn it upside down so you can see yourself. The horns right there and the full face. It's kind of hard for me to see it being obscured on my contraption that I'm using. But again, this is futuristic talking, what he's saying. And these, the colors, the colors is of a snake, but it's double meaning. The cross is a stab to stop at a point. He's talking about one who is to come. The crossing into these rams. A crossing and stopping at the point. This represents a phallus. The thumb is the same thumb that he used in the Last Supper. Going all the way down, you'll see that this staff, his rod and his staff shall comfort me. That this staff goes down to your, the private parts, his and hers. Because remember, it's two meanings. This is why it has a two on the feminine side because a two is a female number. And when you zoom inside, Leonardo da Vinci sculpture, a face inside of it, of a snake, the mouth of a snake, slit right here, like a tongue of a snake will snick out. And the eye right there, zoom in, the eye of a snake inside of it, double meaning. This stab that you think is a stab is a phallus. And the same phallus, one inside of the pyramid. You see, double meaning. The serpent is dealing with also the kundalini energy. Now mind you, look how smooth the skin is. But this hand it's not as smooth as this skin, but it's obscure. Look at the coloration and how it kind of matches the fur that's supposed to be fur. But it's also snake in the mouth of a vagina because at this point it's telling you, Leonardo da Vinci is telling you, that this represents the wound, the vagina, and the staff, the scepter entering into the vagina circle point and stops right here because he's showing you the staff entering into the vagina and swerving to show the actual phallus into the vagina man you're talking about a master very powerful because he's talking about the L he's talking about Amen the hidden one you see, the one. Let's talk about Amen, the hidden one. Crossing these realms, the snake bloodline. Step back. It's the half, the L, that half of this body coming out of the mouth of the vagina, but also coming out into this realm. Take heed that Leonardo da Vinci spoke of futuristic stuff because in this painting is double meanings from darkness to light. And I leave in the dark because the dark is really the light. The Leonardo da Vinci name also scrambles to Two names within itself. Leo, he has in his name. And he also have Daron, D-A-R-O-N. And much more. It says that Leonardo da Vinci was missing for two 
days. Was it two days or two months? Yeah, he was gone missing for two months inside of, in a cave. And soon after he revealed himself, he started drawing paintings of big head entities, big head beings, and his whole drawings, paintings, sculptures, and blueprint chains. That's why you see in his paintings, you see him showing spacecrafts and other things like that. Well, I'll stop here. Just want you to know that more deep knowledge and science is coming your way. It was brought to my attention to explain this to you. This is Amir Amin El, Amir Amin Lucifer. This is Amitology.